Hold fast through trials. Mark chapter 4 verses 16 and 17. These likewise are the ones sown on stony ground who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with gladness. And they have no root in themselves and so endure only for a time. Afterward, when tribulation or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they stumble. As we continue to consider the parable of the sower this week, uh, drawing insights from the parable that Jesus gave to us, we see the second scenario that Jesus uh, shared that talks about the seed of the word, the seed which has full of potential, full of promise, there's nothing wrong with the seed, which is the word of the word of God, the word of the kingdom. It's the eternal seed. It's it's full of life and power. But when it falls on stony ground, is what is the second scenario where Jesus gave us. He said, these are people who receive the word with gladness. There is great enthusiasm. There is great joy when they hear the word of God, the promise of God. Uh, what God has said he will do in our lives and all that he has said will be ours. Uh, there is great excitement about that. But he says, after some time, there is tribulation and persecution for the word's sake. That means they begin to face some difficulty, some challenge, some hardship, exactly in relation to that word which they receive. So there's a challenge. Uh, so for example, maybe it's a word concerning healing and they begin to face some challenges in healing. Or it's a word concerning God's provision for their lives. It's maybe a word concerning their family, their children, their marriage or their future. Or uh, It's different things. Wherever they, they receive the word. There's great excitement when they find the word. But then they begin to face some challenge. There is tribulation, trials, persecution, opposition to that word. Now, persecution can come through people. So people may, you know, sometimes uh, laugh at us, mock us, question us, challenge us, dispute what we believe. So you really think that promise is going to happen? You really think God is it's going to work in your life? You know, so there could be tribulation, which is coming through circumstances and situations. There could be persecutions coming through various scenarios where people are hindering us. Uh, and it says here, when tribulation or persecution arises for the word's sake, they stumble, they get offended, uh, they get upset with the word of God. They don't think God really is going to come through for them. They give up on that word. So now that, that seed fails to produce in their life, not because it didn't have the power to produce, just that it didn't have the right environment. It's like an environment with the rocks in it. The roots begin to come up but cannot go deep. They can't go to the level they should in order for that plant to grow and bear fruit and produce in their lives. So here's an important lesson. You see, when we hear the word of God, that word is pure. That word is holy. It's the word of Almighty God. God cannot lie. His word is truth. His word is full of power. His word has a capacity to produce and every promise of God has been designed to produce in your life. But when the word comes, remember, there will be tribulations and persecutions for the sake of that word. You will face challenges. But for you and me, we must hold fast to that word through and those tribulations and persecutions. So stick with it. Hold on to that word. Don't give up on that word because that word is so precious. It will produce. You and I must just hold on to it. Don't let the pressure of things around you cause you to give up on that word. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this insight Jesus gave to us. And we ask you for the grace to hold on to your word through time, through the persecutions and through the tribulations so that your word will produce in our lives. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.